So I'm just scrying the word Galsajan, which means divine power creating the angel of the sun. And I'm specifically keeping my hand within the book of Libra Loga because this is a very, has a lot of solar qualities to it. And I'm just feeling it sort of come up through my body right now. I also separately called the angelic king Bobe Gel or Bobo Gel. And Bobe Gel Zod specifically, which is one of the variations of his name, specifically relates him back to God Zod when it's extended out like that, adding the Z, Z O D, Zod. Um, tends to mean of God, or at least it has been at least once used that way. And so I'm getting this sense, again, This is, there's a lot of crown chakra work today on this Sunday. And I'm just seeing this, the sun, and I'm seeing just this beautiful sort of creative process within it. So we see solar flares, but imagine that happening internally to the sun. And it's like God is saying, he's, he's turning the sun, unlike certain other stars, he's turning this one into a bit of an egg. In other words, there's, there's something embryonic within it. And I'm feeling within this, I mean, it's warm, but it's, it's mainly the light is what I'm sensing. <clears throat> and so I'm sensing this sort of come forward and much as you can imagine the heart extruding out or extending out, shining forth. So also I'm getting this sense of the sun shining forth in a, um, in this angelic sense that can go out into the world, into earth and help bestow God's glory. One of the things I'm being told is to just remember that all of the energy that we use today is derived from the sun, either directly or indirectly. Every single thing that we eat grows because of this energy of the sun. The sun is also the center obviously, of the solar system, and that we're all kind of along for the sun's ride, even though we tend to forget this, as the sun moves about the universe. And so I'm just being given... So because I'm in this divine power creating it, creating the sun, I'm just being told a more practical sense of how this can be used, which is to say that if there's something truly new that we wish to create in our lives, that to, we can call upon this. You know, my mind is going to astrological and being told, no, if, if there's something new, then call upon this divine power creating the angel of the sun or call upon this, this solar sense. And that will, that will align. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting like a bunch of different messages. I'm trying to ask different questions. So on the one hand, I'm asking, does this mean that people who, for example, are Leo risings or Aries risings, um, can specifically get something out of that and no. So even as a lot of people go for sun sign astrology, others do not. That same power that creates the seasons, that creates the vast difference between night and day, all of these things, these are that raw creative force that even determines the phase of the moon, right? For example, that raw creative force is always there. <laughs> even when it's eclipsed, so to speak, 
we are still able to see it, you know, see its raw power as a crown about the moon. So, so this is wonderful. And he's saying, God is saying, tap into this divine power and you can create, so to speak, or you can, you can align yourself with the power which has already created the angel of your son. So if you're looking at this from an astrological perspective, you know, you can get in touch with that solar force that then can create and supply whatever it is that you need. So that's on the one hand, at the larger level, at the sense of the planetary level, Michael, Salamian, uh, Oak, all of these, uh, Bobby Zod, Bornogo, all of these angels are all tapping in to, are all, all have that signature. And it's just different. It's almost as if you could take on a filter to the sunlight and, oh, here's the red spectrum, here's the blue, here's the green, here's the, and so on and so forth. And specifically, I'm getting a sense at the back of my neck, so I'm asking what this would mean at the supernal level. And so I'm getting the sense it's, I believe it's the path of Gimel that goes in the tree of life. It goes from Keter down straight to the sun to Tiferet. And that that's what this can do, you know? So obviously, um, Enochian will take you more or less, you know, rough analogy, make take you up the tree of life up to Saturn if you do the Aethers, so that's at the supernal level. But this is kind of like a direct line from the first emergence of the divine. So it's a good thing to have, and it's a good thing to continue to call on these angels. It's easier to do it if you are one of these, if you are like, let's say an Aries, or you have some kind of dignity associated with the sun in your chart, but because each of us has the sun in our chart and because the sun really is just the center of the solar system, no matter what sign it's in, this is something that each of us, because the sun is always up there <laughs> every day, there is 365 days in which it's brighter than the night. Uh, each of those, um, each of us has something to be gained by doing this. And because it's directly from that um, Keter, World of Adam, Cadmon thing, that it's also important for us to realize that this is, this is very important. There's a reason why there is a specific Enochian word for this. And there is in, there's a reason why I have been drawn to this as I work with the other uh, solar angels today. So that sounds the vision.